So we're at the Quaker Cottage for the Teenage Project as part of Children in Need. I met an amazing uh, bunch of young people who have created this really brilliantly powerful film all about their, uh, their experiences, I suppose, um, and really hit, touches on mental health, 20 years after the Good Friday Agreement and their experiences, the promises that were made that haven't been kept, the impact that that has had socially and on them personally, um, and yeah, some really uh, quite heartbreaking uh, stories, you know, but brilliantly positive and um, kind of empowering message and they're properly riled up and, and ready to make a change, which is, is very inspiring. So she's came from Children in Need because uh, Quakers was funded by Children in Need and they actually funded the project for us to do. Um, it's quite nerve-wracking at first because, you know, obviously you kind of like, oh, the presenters coming and, um, but she was so lovely and she's so nice and she was, you know, quite open with uh, what she thought of the video and um, the way she thinks about it and I'm hoping that, you know, she decides to, to take it on board and um, but she definitely seems interested and I'm hoping then it will, that children in need then do take it further for when they are presenting, hopefully we might get a spot to, to show what we can do. So we're trying to make a movement of young people. Um, we want them to, to rise up and kind of move the government to one side and show, you know, they're, they're stuck in their old ways. And we want the, you know, to go into schools and have classes about it, you know, and bring it into the curriculum and show them that, you know, it's, it, as you have your English maths and science, that this is, you know, this is part of it. This is what happens in daily life. You have your learning for life and work. But you do learn about work and mortgages, but where's the life part? Where's dealing with loss or dealing with, you know, grievance? Where's that part where, you know, it shows you different things to help? And we need to take that to the government and show them that, you know, we need all the young people to come together and show that we're a bigger force than them and that we will take over and that we want to, you know, make this a difference, not by only them, but by the young people as well. I mean, it's amazing that there is that place that they can always seek out no matter what's going on that feels familiar and it feels uh, safe they'll never be turned away there's always somebody there to listen and somebody there to help and and somebody you know that can can guide them and they can guide each other when they're all supporting each other and i think that's uh, that's incredible <laughs>